hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to analyze a plane stress component in ansys mechanical apdl a plane stress component is a condition where in which there are stresses only along x and y direction and no stresses along z direction that is strain is confined to only one plane and this is a classic example of a plane stress problem that is a plate with a hole the the location uh, where, where there is uh, where there is the hole has uh, more more stress compared to nominal stress and the dimensions of this plate and hole have been given so let's get started preferences structural okay preprocessor element type add so add a solid of quad no quad four node i am adding this because this has a symmetrical properties in analysis you can check that out by clicking the help help button right there so go to options and uh, change the element behavior to plane stress with thickness click ok close go to real constants and add the thickness that we have just mentioned so the thickness is 10 mm if i am right yeah it's 10 mm so i am my standard is mm right here in for this problem Go to material properties, material models, structural, linear, elastic, isotropic, 2e5 newton per mm square, Young's modulus is 2e5 newton per mm square, and 0.3 the Poisson ratio. Exit. Now go to modeling, create. First of all, let's create a rectangle. Areas rectangle by corners. Uh, the origin is 0, 0 the width is so i'm going to divide this plate into four quadrants so that i'll be using uh, symmetrical boundary conditions to make this problem easier um, so that will be 50 by 25 if i divide it into four parts go to circle 0 0 as origin and the radius is 20 mm is diameter so the radius is 10 mm Now I need to subtract this circle from this rectangle. For that go to operate, boolean, subtract, areas. Now you might be confused of which area to which area to select. The one which is to be subtracted or the one which is to be left over. So you can read it right here. Pick or enter base areas from which to subtract. So I, I need to subtract it from the rectangle. Now the second area is pick or enter the areas to be subtracted that is the circle okay so it has been subtracted go to loads define loads apply structural now i'm going to specify the boundary conditions displacement uh, symmetric boundary conditions on lines on this line and this line so i am defining a first quadrant right over here uh, it will be replicated in the remaining three quadrants go to pressure so the pressure here is 100 newton per centimeter oh no i'll just edit it to 100 newton per mm that will be easy for my problem no conversions right go back to answers go to pressure on lines pick that line and apply the pressure uh, the pressure value is 100 newton per mm and normally the pressure would be acting onto the surface that is into the surface but we need uh, away from the surface so we need to just assign a negative value to the pressure that we define this problem can also be uh, considered as a fixed plate because the conditions would be the same uh, there will be reaction pressure on the other side of the plate so we can consider it either loaded or fixed now go to pressures on lines uh, negative of 100 newton per centimeter 100 newton per mm Now go to solution, solve, current load step, click OK. 
oops the nodes have not been defined what yeah I didn't mesh right sorry about that go to preprocessor to preprocessor meshing meshing mesh tool set the smart size to 3 mesh click mesh select the area click ok now this has been meshed now we have nodes at every point of the mesh solution is done now go to general post processor uh, plot results deform shape to see the deform shape and undeform shape so this is the undeform shape the blue one back there now go to nodal solution for stresses these are the stresses so the load we have given is 100 newton per mm the pressure so due to stress concentration the red area that is which near which is near the hole is about 353 newton per centimeter that is about three times of what we have given so we have even verified the stress concentration factor that is around three now go to path operations Let's define path by nodes pick nodes pick uh, i'll be picking some random nodes right here you can just go to plot nodes and uh, see what nodes you need to pick right now i'm picking some random nodes just show you how to show nodes plot nodes so these are the nodes i have picked you will go okay and i'll define that path as stress okay now i'll go to plot paths you can see the all the nodes that i have picked I go to map onto path say the label is stress along x stress along x stress along x direction okay plot path item on graph so our label is stress x click ok this is the stress variation along the path so that's it about this tutorial guys uh, if you find it helpful hit a like button and thanks for watching